All right, guys, welcome back to the Nerd Militia, and today we're talking about Dark Knights. This comic book sets the stage. It came hard, and I was, like, so excited for it. I, I wanted this comic book to deliver, and deliver it did. It truly sets the stage for the rest of the issues that are coming forward so that dark knight is a 12 issue miniseries and already chef's kiss all the way around so let me set the stage okay first of all you've got two kingdoms that we know about so far you've got the kingdom of l and the kingdom of storms storms is ruled over by black lightning and the house of l is ruled by jor-el laura and uh, their son Superman. Now at the beginning of this comic book, we see the destruction of Krypton again, only this time in the ship is Jor-El, Laura, and Laura's giving birth to Cal. And we do a jump 19 years in the future where they have started and made the house, the, or the kingdom of El. Catch up with the, the kingdom of storms, which is, like I said before, ruled over by Black Lightning, and he has himself a mage. And the mage just prophesies, one second, the mage also happens to be <laughs> Constantine. Mage prophesies the destruction of the of the Kingdom of Storms by the House of L. Now they're they're kind of guessing that it's the House of L because it's talking about Green Man, and I'm guessing they're associating with that with the fact that the the House of L came from space. I I, I don't know. They just assume that, and also again <laughs> they have yet to explain how, but the world learns that um, one of the major weaknesses of the Kryptonians is magic. Black Lightning puts a hit out on the House of L, and he puts a hit out using magic users. Caveat to this plan, okay guys? In this world, metahumans are considered magical beings, but we know them as metahumans, but they call them magic, so they're not really magic at all. That being said, the Kingdom of L has ruled it illegal to have magic users or magic beings in their kingdom, and word has gotten out that Black Lightning has indeed sent an assassin. That said assassin will be using magic. Now guys, I know that's probably a lot to take in, but I promise you guys, this is where stuff starts to get dramatic. Like the drama in this comic book is so bananas. It's it's just off the Richter scale. It's just off the Richter scale. So I won't tell you much more, but what I will tell you is this. Batman is in this kingdom and Batman is called, well, the Prince of Bats. Which is so hilarious, but he's a ward of the elves and he's like their sworn protector, specifically Cal El's protector. When they find out there might be a magic user in their kingdom, they send him to go deal with that. Now it's in this in this battle that he lives that kind of starts off the catalyst of things. Like this is the catalyst because he 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 lives in a fight he shouldn't have won, and this makes him question everything everything about him is his whole being actually and so it's in this questioning that we discover something amazing about this world's bruce wayne and guys i need you guys to go get this comic book because this is the drama i was talking about shit gets real okay oh man man i i i'm i'm literally stopping myself from like saying more than I've already said because I feel like I've given so much away already and I don't want to give everything away but please believe me guys it gets so much it gets so much realer okay the house of storms the house of L going at it you've got freaking Batman who's called the prince of fucking bats and and he's like the house of L's protector against magic and they also helped raise them and the in the Kents and the Waynes like started this kingdom together well it kind of seems like but it's 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 so bananas did i add that like the robins are still around like they work as the batmans or the prince of bats like ears on the ground like oh my gosh there's like there's so much awesomeness and we haven't even scratched the surface and i'm not even gonna ruin it and i'm sure there's already channels on here that's already like that you go to and they'll read you the whole comic book but i promise you guys you need this in your hand you need this you need to go to your comic book shop and you need to get this comic book because it's amazing. And it's also for the spec. It's also for the freaking spec. The spec is, this comic book is gonna be something, okay? It's it's pretty rad. Trust me on this, like, I feel that, so the last DC animated movie did horribly, and so they're probably scratching for something to do, and I guarantee you, uh, the, 
Dark Knight will be it, will be the next Batman or the Justice League animated series. It's so rad, okay? So like I said, we have the Kingdom of Storms, we have um, the Kingdom of El, and I'm, I can't wait to see what the freaking, the, the Amazons look like. I'm sure they're gonna be dope. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm quite sure Oliver should probably have a kingdom. He is a rich kid. Um, the Green Lanterns, if they're around, but like it is, it's, it's going to be 10 out of 10. I don't even do that on here, but 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Go get this book guys. All right, guys. So if you've already read the comic book, let's leave some comments. We could talk about it. Um, we'll try to stay spoiler free. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share this video, guys. And as usual, stay excellent, and I'll catch you guys later.